Hello and welcome guys, uh, here I am at uh, Warfare 2022 with Chris, Chairman of the War Games Association of Reading, which if you zoom right in, it says there. Uh, so Chris, here we are at Warfare, hopefully they can see the backdrop. There is a lot of tables. Is this like an aircraft hangar or something? It's exactly what it is. It yeah, is yeah. exactly what it, it is, is at Farmer aircraft. Airfield. We are, yeah. All right, so can I give these guys an idea. Um, this is a club run event. This is not a commercial event, it supports the War Games Club. Absolutely, yeah. Everything you see here is organized by volunteers and we mm -hmm. run through the volunteers. There's, without yep. the volunteers, we have no show. Right, right. So, so this is, this is one of the largest shows in the country and mm. we make it we try to make it as inclusive as possible and all of our volunteers make it that inclusive show. And it's we, a big part of your club. It's a big part of the club and it's kind of what we what we want. We want the club to, to demonstrate what we're you know, we want to put our best foot forward with the show, if that makes yeah, sense. Absolutely. Um because it's not quite reading, we're just a little bit outside. Yeah. At, at an airport, in fact. It was interesting driving here and parking. Is you got aircraft taking off three feet above you? Yeah, yeah, it's good if you're a, a, a plane spotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's okay. something, something for all the family. <laughs> so, for someone that's not been here before, you've got this big kind of aircraft hangar here, and there's another room next door. That's right. You've got several events running here as well as the traders. So, give us, give us some of the headlines. So, so we have about 20 different uh, competitive events, oh. about 450 competitors this year across those 20 events. 450 guys. Yeah, and we do everything from sort of uh, full fantasy down to your sort of uh, down to your kind of more historical miniatures mm -hmm. yeah lots of different rule systems in there yeah we have demo and participation mm -hmm. and we have about 27 of those 28 of those this year across again a wide range of things in addition to the sort of 60 odd traders and the bring and buy which you yeah. know is always a nice thing for people and absolutely, bring them by to war game shows are always a great thing. Absolutely. It's always disappointing you go to a show and they don't have one anymore. <laughs> I know it's a lot of hassle for the organising people. Yeah, it is, and it's the sort, but it's the sort of thing that it, it, it feel it's part of the show. I think if you yeah. if you took it away, you'd lose something from it. Definitely, show. definitely. And um, so we saw as well in terms of the traders, you've got a lot of big names here. I've seen a warlord store, yeah. seen a great escape games. Uh, any any other? Names that you care to mention? Yeah, so we we are, are, are the big kind of people who've been with us for a long time are people like KR Multi Case, right? Yes, and they've uh, got an extensive stall over they've there. Got a yeah, good stall, and we've also got people like uh, the guys at West Wind. Yep, um, and Forged in Battle. They're they're like a long term supporter yep. of us as well. It's um, going to be a long list. There's about uh, what did you say? About sixty traders. Six, 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 seventy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, you know, we could go here forever. Like yep. Plastic Soldier Company have a big stand. You know, there's absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, I, I could be here forever. If you were going to tell these people what, if they were to come to Warfare 2023, yeah, what what are they going to get? What why should they come? Why should they come? Well, they should come. They should come because they are going to be supporting a local war games club that's trying to give back to the community. Community. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of a lot of stuff for them to come and see and do. Hopefully, yeah. There's the demonstration of participations, and they, they hopefully will engage the whole family. So it's not just one person's day out. There's a good retail experience. So if you want to come and buy some stuff, do some shopping, mm. we've got that covered. And you and want pre-painted scenery or you want plastic kits, it's, they're all it's, here, it's right? It's all here. And if you want to see what's possible in the hobby, you can mm. come and have a look at the competitors, see how that's been done. And maybe if you fancy taking part, there's always new competitions coming up. There's so many tables here, guys. We'll try and get you some B-roll footage, uh, but we couldn't possibly cover them all in a video of this length. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks very and much. And thank you for watching. I'm here with David, and I hey. believe you are the tournament organizer for Warfare 2022. I am. And I'm a proud member of uh, the War Games Association of Reading. I am indeed. I'm Principal Cat Herder is my other official title. Principal Cat Herder. Right, there's a lot of them look like they don't like water around about here. 450 cats over there. <laughs> right, so there's a lot of games going on today. Yeah, we've got 23, 23 tournaments we've got. 23, not 23 games, 23, 23 systems yeah. for which there is an event. Yeah. And that goes from 
tiny stuff with the like DBA right up to 28 mil. Yeah, we've oh, got, um, I think the smallest is we've got uh, 10 mil on some of the competitions. Uh -huh. We've got 25, 28 mil. Yeah, so again, right across the board. Right. I think probably Bushido with 32 mil. Bushido with 32 mil. And, and probably the Lord of the Rings game. I see yeah, you've got a very they're, they're big number there. Yeah, we've got 100 players in that. 100 player event. If there's one takeaway from this is if you play the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game, this is the premium event. It's, well, definitely in the South. A hundred players. So what are some of the other games that are here today? You men mentioned just a few. So we've there. got, yeah, we've got a very eclectic mix across the board. We've got Napoleonics being played in 15 mil. Mm -hmm. um, so the historical side, we've got DBMM. So if you look at Ancients, yep. um, DBMM, they're running a Silk Road themed competition. Oh, that's kind of a China yeah, through, yeah, to, through to India so, kind of thing. So yeah. that's been a themed competition. We've got that again in 25 mil. Uh, Art de Guerre, which is another Ancients competition. So there's different rule sets doing diff the same period, mm. but with a diff you know, but still with a. So there's a bit, there's a bit of a yeah. bit of a theme there. Nice. Um, and then we go across into we've got Age of Sigma, we've got 40k. 40k we're running two competitions this year. Um, they're running a Tempest narrative competition, which is more of a friendly competition right. to allow people to have a taste of that sort of thing rather yeah. than going into a. Oh. 40k competition is going to be quite brutal yeah. if you're a 12 year old once yeah, again involved. Absolutely. So yeah, we've yeah. just started that off this year. Mm -hmm. Um, middle of we've talked about we've got Kings of War they've come on this year as well oh, right. Ronnie sent his guys down first thing we've had that guy called Mike Smith running that very okay, successful nice. um, Infinity we've got um, so science fiction one we'd like to see more of um, and about bolt action well what oh, sorry yes bolt action we've got about 32 players in bolt action um, right oh well. nice nice and I think I saw some of the Pegasus Warlords guys they are indeed are yes. they running the event for there's you there's a guy no they've come on I ran into them at Selwick yep, me too. Ago, and yep. they've actually helped out with providing an extra terrain board which has allowed us to actually offer up a few offer more, up more places yeah so that's been nice. great and hopefully they'll work together as a team next year mm. with a guy called Rob Grant who has been running it from a reading perspective for some time um so that's one we're hoping to and it is a two-day event so many of these yeah, tournaments so are running the across majority, two days. the majority we have in fact all bar two are two-day events the so this we brought on this year we brought on two of the strongest played yesterday and bushido has replaced them today right so and two of the strongest is another that's a 25 mil based um uh, ancients type yeah game again um, the other one we've got is saga um, Saga is running its seventh Grand Lee here. Um, oh, right, nice. It's been supported by Gripping Beast. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in alongside that is Sword Point, which is another 25 mil game, which is also from that, that stable. Yeah, yeah, they do a range of starter sets, I think. I'll yeah. have a look at that. One of the reasons people do competitions is they want to win things. Yeah. So if I come to one of your events, if I take part, I buy my ticket for the tournament. How does that distinguish me from one of these other mooks just wandering around who's paid a few quid? So what we've got, each of the competitions has the trophies as well. So there's tro trophies we provide for each of the competitions, which is a lovely laser cut emblem. We've got Wargamers the... Wargamers love a bit of laser cut stuff, right? But yeah. it's a 3D wyvern is inside it. So the oh, emblem... Oh, beautiful. I'll show you one later. We'll try and get a picture. Um, yeah. And even we've got a little wooden spoon version of that as well. Right. So those are scattered across the competitions depending on the size of competitions there may be best sporting awards um best painted army awards etc and then in addition to that we've had a fantastic response um set from our two main sponsors KR multi case and westwind productions force in battle who have provided prize support in the form of cases that have been given to the competitions so there may be a right. case of different types are provided to each of the competition or tournament organizers oh, that's across 30 all, all events, 23 that's, 23 all that's 23 quite a events. lot of yeah. so he's, prize support, yeah. he's given about 800 pounds worth yeah westwind gave me a three boxes with close to three thousand pounds worth of retail value and again those figures have been broken up and so put the, out bolt into the, the, the bolt action guys each got a blister and a casualty marker every single one of those yeah. players yeah so it is varies from competition and that, to competition and that you got the uh, you got stuff at the top end like hey i've yeah. made a big donation but all the way down yeah, trainers and, and have been contributing yeah, by what, way what's been support. important to me and it, it's not just sometimes a bit size mm. um what's been lovely is another trader um he provided um a new little corner piece for all the lord of the rings players all right so they've again gone away with a little something you need to their game experience and hopefully they will go back and they'll buy the rest of the building 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so this this, this prize is to be one, right? That is. This prize to be one. That one. sounds great. All right. So if anyone's looking at this and thinking two questions, one is if I want to if I want to take part in one of these events next year, or I live in the south of England. Um, when can they expect these tickets yeah. to go on sale uh, for 2023? Uh, we put the tickets on sale April the 21st this year, and they'll go on sale round about the same time. So we've got the website. They'll go on sale on the website. That's what to look for. Hopefully and when you say website, the, the War Games Association of Reading website. There you go, War Games Association of Reading website. It's cleverly called War Games Association of Reading dot co dot uk. So you'll right. see stuff yep. go up on there. There'll be stuff come up early on as well, um, announcements. And already we're starting to look for tournament organisers. We're really looking to expand out, bring in some of the other systems. There are systems I'd like to have got here, but didn't manage to get it. So if you're out there and you're thinking like, oh, group needs a tournament. Yeah. You know, or some some of the more new games, the Longley game, or something yeah, like that. Absolutely, you're up for running that event. You want to hear from them. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, there's a tournaments at Wargames. Reading.co.uk uh, right. email address. But you're you're constantly looking for organisers. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, the last thing is probably all know a, a, a show's lifeblood is its traders, right? Yeah. And and you again, if traders uh, who are not necessarily already in touch, same thing, get in touch. Yeah, absolutely, but we're happy to expand the trade and where we want to do is also link the tournaments and the trade together a lot more. Um, you know, if there's traders who themselves have tournaments they would like to see running, get in touch. Just yeah, oh, for their game systems yeah, and they, yeah. they want to get absolutely. an event going. I, I'm yeah. with you. That, that yeah, makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. Next year, you mentioned this year's got a Silk Road theme. Well, for the, one of the competitions, yeah. For the competitions. Now, next year, I understand you've got a different theme in mind. Yeah, for the we're, we're, we're looking or, or for the show. At, yeah, it's, as, as chance has it, um, next year happens to be the 110th anniversary of the publication of H.G. Wells' Little Wars book. So that's with the spring-loaded cannons, that's right? Exactly what it was. Um, yeah. So it also, and that's to some degree, if you take aside the Krieg spiel that was done during um, the Franco-Prussian War, it's really the grandfather of where we are today. Yeah. So yeah. the X-wing guys, that's where it all came from. Mm. Um, it was H.G. Wells and some of his chums, not far from here down in Sandhurst, right. bringing dowlings at lead soldiers and knocking their heads off. And yeah. he formed a set of rules, which is a little war. Some of us still think there's some appeal to that way to play games. Well, and to, to, to add another piece into that, one thing I'd also like to see is some interesting participation games themed around that as well. Yeah. Whether health and safety will allow us to fire dowlings out of cannons, I'm not sure. Yeah, there has been some issues there. But um, certain things, in, we have a, a track record. We went from that into what was called the flats period, where we had the sort of two dimensional figures, which, interestingly mm. enough, you now see re emerging again. With a, oh, people doing like acrylic prints and yeah, stuff. Wolf yeah, yeah. It's, it's the classic for that now, which is mm. something that was imported yeah. back then. And if you're not and a painter, they're well worth looking at. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's, it's trying to think a little bit out of the box. What can we do that fits in with this whole piece of the war but game you're looking to, to showcase war games history That's exactly it. does that mean someone's going to be playing wrg6 somewhere well, with the same is here today as well it didn't it die 30 here. years ago i first played wrg oh, i first played at warfare in about 1988 and played wrg6 so i go back a long time with like a long way i think i think I, people were teaching me it then yeah. you know slights just before seventh is very dba like isn't it yeah, that's when the big change that is, was that, between that, that six and seven. Much an evolution but anyway, yeah. uh, that's, that's uh, we could go on and on about that. Blah, blah, All right, well, blah, thank you for blah. your time. So, if you're interested in laying on a, a, an event, on taking part in one. There's loads of space to grow at this event. Yeah, it's a fantastic nice. event already, but there's half an aircraft hangar down there. Yeah. Loads more that could be done, and we'll see you guys next year. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Okay.